We got a lot of questions from people wanting to know why you were so gangster this season. Lisa from Montgomery, Alabama said, Cynthia, there's a fine line between finding your voice and being a total bitch. Don't take any more cues from Kenya. I think in a group like this, it's important to have a voice. And I think it's important to also be a bitch when you need to in this group. Shadika from Rochester, New York said, I appreciate the new you, Cynthia, not the pushover tape recorder from previous seasons. I'm glad to see you back all the way out of Nini's behind. Do you think you were up Nini's behind? Do you think she was up your behind the last few seasons? No, Cynthia always gossiped. She always talked about people. Well, we all did. And I think that for whatever reason, while we were friends, People tend to focus on me. Cynthia always had a voice. So you don't think she is different this season? No, she was always outspoken. Lola from Fresno said, Phaedra, you mentioned that you have dirt on Cynthia and that she has delinquent bills all over the city of Atlanta. What dirt do you have? And why did you decide to be so personal and vicious towards Cynthia? Cynthia was personal and vicious towards me. I was not personal and vicious toward you. Um, I repeat yes, what your yes. husband said. He said, this is what Apollo told yeah, you. Yeah, but you, say no, that you that said it. You went ambitious? around telling it to then people. And you can hold on to that. And you made it into something that I you didn't did make it say. into anything. You could have oh, okay. easily squashed that, and we could have moved oh, on. Oh, I could have easily squashed it. All you had to do was say, hey, around. you know what? That's not really true. Apollo's well, that's a liar. That's what I said, and you continued. But you had already been told Kenya and Claudia had made it into something that you did not. I did not. Apollo got her phone. Sure enough, there was like some message from some guy named Chocolate. Apparently, he's like an African prince. No. I didn't. Oh, you didn't? No, I did you not. You didn't have wine with them and tell them, oh, this is, yeah. Yeah, but that was before we sat down. If you were a real woman, you would have called me and said, Phaedra, this is what's going on. But you didn't do that. Well, you chose to take when I was most vulnerable and at my lowest moment to try to kick me and do something really screwed up to me. That is That's what you did. Okay, first of all, Phaedra, I completely have compassion for your situation. Oh, you this do? Had, I do. Oh, okay. This had nothing to yeah. do with your situation. What kind situation. of compassion do you have okay. for my situation? I have Please compassion for the situation you, that you're yeah, in. Well, I you know that if you would try to attack someone again, within I mean, 24 hours. I didn't say with hours. any judgment or malice. All you had to do was shut it down and keep it moving. You could well, I did shut it down, but you had on, already like you ran with it. you moved on when she called you the head doctor. Mm -hmm. Y'all got y'all moved right past Yeah, because she apologized. She came to me and apologized and said, I never heard that. I never knew that to be true. I just thought it was funny. And you could have did it. See, can I get it wrong? You never apologized. I, Howdy, I apologized okay. in the Philippines, and you did not accept it, and that is your choice. Why did you not accept her apology? Because I don't think it was genuine, but I just was... Well, don't I say I didn't apologize. Just say you didn't accept it. Okay. You had the wrong spirit, honey. Well, your, honey, your spirit was not exactly glowing. Well, what was my spi there. spirit supposed to be? I was reciplicating your energy. Oh, really? I could have very easily apologized. No, you apologized. were reciplicating your mean energy. Matter of fact, I guess fact, new I face, new personality. <laughs> you had every opportunity to say what you need to say. I wouldn't go argue with you about it because I really don't care what's really going well, on. Well, if you really didn't care, why did you make it a part of your storyline and run around telling everybody? Girl, please, stop with the storyline stuff. Oh, uh, Apollo no. Apollo is your storyline. No. And now he's gone. Oh, yeah. So work well, on honey, next I have plenty of jobs. How many do you have? Honey, I have plenty of jobs Because I'm not selling pipe well. dreams to little girls. Honey, it doesn't... Excuse me? Excuse you. Honey, I am making dreams come true for Are a lot of you? How many contracts yes, have I you am. made come true? Don't, how many uh, law cases have you won? Uh, plenty, darling. Oh, but I'm very that celebrate. Seen. Watch you the tape, You have your jobs, darling. and I have my jobs. Yeah. Okay. okay. Olivia from Englewood, New Jersey said, Phaedra, you should be ashamed of yourself for making fun of Cynthia's fibroids. That was low down, even for you. I don't say anything about anybody until they come for me. And that's what she did. And I just said, basically, you trying to talk about my Aquafina because you sitting on Captain Crunch. So, hey, that's what it is. Coming from a head doctor, I guess she would know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, honey, I have a Juris doctorate. Get you one of those. Okay, maybe I will. <laughs> yes. At the Bailey Agency. Oh, yeah. Well, the okay. Bailey Agency, is it really an existing yes. agency? Yes, I'll be at Bar 1. Oh, okay. Bar or 9. Sports 1. Okay. Bar 9. Okay. okay. Win a case. Yeah. Well, <laughs> honey, you stay out of a case because you got 24 cases in Fulton honey, right now. Your anything. husband does. Oh, yeah, you got 24, Cynthia baby. Bailey doesn't Peter, have anything. Peter does, though. So you got plenty of high cheekbones over here, honey. Win a case. Is that all you can say? Huh, come well, better, babe. It is what it is.
Daryl from Roanoke, Virginia said, Phaedra, why did you make fun of Cynthia's weight by saying she modeled in the plus size I'm catalog? I'm not making fun of her weight. She really does. My, my mom does order from that catalog. Is it not true? You do model in the plus size. Well, that's true. When you have the information and the education, plus size modeling starts at a size eight. Saying we support I her. did have a couple plus size clients, which I made a lot of money doing plus size modeling. And uh, I'm glad that her mom, you know, shops yeah. from the catalog and can fit some of the things as well. But thanks for the shout out. Win a case.